Well, I went down to my local uh, thrift store, Value Village, or VV Boutique, as it's often called around here, or Villeu Village, as we like to joke. And um, anyway, it's always fun. I, I, I love just wandering around in there sometimes. And I'm often keeping my eye out for, say, well, old cigar boxes, and I found a few, but it it's been pretty dry lately, and I haven't found anything. But I did find this thing, and uh, you know, it, it looks like junk, and it is junk, but I like junk. And what it is is an old cash box, or at least I'm assuming it's old. It sure looks old. Um, it's had better days, and that's probably what I like about it, because, you know, we've all had better days. Anyway, I, I'm, I look at this, and I think, if I clean this up, I can make something out of it. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is make a pen box for my desk. And probably, well, actually, when you open it up, there's the old uh, little, actually, I could even make it into a cash box. <laughs> but actually, here, you open this, you pull this out. <clears throat> and um, I guess this, this is what they had the change in. You hear that? There's something in there. I don't think it's changed. This is a part from the hoop here. Um, anyway, I think if I take some soap and water, maybe a brush, and just clean this thing up, straighten up a bit of the bangs. It's essentially made out of tin. And I'll do something with this, pen-related. But I wanted to take a peek in here. This is kind of interesting. It's uh, possibilities in this, other than change. And I think... <laughs> Oh, that's cool. It doesn't come all the way out. All right, so this slides out, and it's full of junk. Hmm. That's part of an old brooch. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to paste that into my, my scrapbook. <laughs> um, almost looks like a hairpin. But I think it's... What are those? Hairpins? Let me know. Huh. An old buckle? Is that bone? No. Abalone. Or something. I don't know. Another little button. <laughs> so somebody used this as a sewing kit at one time. Oh, those are cool. My daughter will like those. They're like little beads. And she does like, my daughter likes to make jewelry and stuff. So I think she'll get a kick out of that. And there's another bead. So somebody was using this as a sewing box. But my intention, what are those? They look like paper clips, but they also look like hairpins. If you know, let me know. And I have no idea what that is. That's just a piece of junk. But uh, <laughs> what I'm thinking is taking uh, some wood and making a tray that um, will sit in here. Uh, at first I was looking at it closer. I think what I could do is keep that intact, clean it up, and that could be, say, for, I don't know, postage stamps, something like that. I wonder if I could attach something to this so that, well, I, I probably don't need to attach something to that. I was thinking a little, that's a little slide. I could make something out of that. But it lays pretty flat and, I was thinking if I took some wood, made a little tray that sits in on top of this, then I could set pens on it so that when you open it up, you'll have your desk pens. And then maybe make use of this thing here in some way for, as I said, you could put money in it. Might need to be straightened up. It's a little crooked, but uh, hmm. I'm going to have fun with this. <clears throat> but I'm going to make a little tray first. That's about that deep. I'll straighten up the tin. I don't need to put a lock on it. That's kind of redundant. But I will clean up this uh, metal, brush it off. Uh, somebody had at one point done some uh, repairs on it. There's no... I'm just seeing if there was any original labels identifying the company. 
So this is either old or something that was at one point made to look old and then just abused. But I'm thinking it's old. I don't know much about antiques. But I just saw this and I thought, I could do something with that. And I think when it's all cleaned up, I'm not going to repaint it. I'm just going to clean up the metal. Maybe just take a soft brush and brush it down. Um, keep the patina. Get a wooden, go down into my workshop. Get a wooden base, like a plywood, and then so and build sides onto it. Uh, put some corrugated board into it that will sort of hold the pens. And so when you come in, it might be sitting over in the corner there on the desk. It'll have post-it stamps, pen money, <laughs> treasures, <laughs> who knows what. But it'll be fun. Anyway, maybe I'll post. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I was bored. I walked around the Value Village. And it's a great way for me to clear my mind. You know, it just takes a little stress off. And it's fun. And I keep an eye out for things like these. And I keep hoping it that I find a, a vintage pen or something. Or even a, any kind of pen that I can use. Never have yet. I've had friends find stuff at Valley, Valley, Value, Value Village or whatever stores they go to, the different ones. And it's always fun. Yeah, so that, I'm going to clean this up, make a tray for it. It'll have some pens on it. It'll have other things on it. And when I'm done, when I have it all fixed up, I'll show you that. And I, anyway, I hope you like the video. Uh, <laughs> I love thrift shops. Do you like thrift shops? What's the best thing you have ever found in a thrift shop? That'd be, let me know. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It is a pen related channel. I do fountain pens and art and inks and papers. And uh, so I invite you to su subscribe. And I also do thrift finds, stuff like that. But anyway, hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.